And welcome back to Jeff Kunange live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski. I tell you, if you're just joining us right now, you've missed a session and a half with the man who wants to be governor of Nairobi County and says if he doesn't turn it around in five years, the people of Nairobi are free to hang him. That's right, he, his words, hang him at Uhuru Park. Miguna Miguna is in the house. Keep tweeting because your tweets are coming in very thick and very fast at Miguna Miguna at Koinanga Jeff the hashtag Miguna times two Miguna you're really willing you're willing to put your life and limb and career on the line completely and let me tell you this because this needs to be said if you go to most functioning democracies in the world and I'll give you the best examples that people think of they think of the U.S., they think of Canada, they think of Britain, they think of Norway, they think of Sweden, they think of Switzerland. All these democracies, the people with the most money don't run government. There's a good reason for that. Mm. And you know, in these countries, the people with the most money earned it, worked for it. For example, Bill Gates is the richest man in the world. He's not a politician. He has never run for office. The richest people do not govern in America politically. It's, it's a conflict of interest and also because the talent of making money is not the same as governance. But it's different in Africa. No, but just let me tell you. Because they are using politics to make money. It's not the other way. It should be the other way around. If, if somebody asked you, and if Sonko were to come here and I asked him, first of all, his name is not even Sonko. But if you were to come here and I ask him, Mr. Mbuvi, if that's his name, mm. how did you make his money? He's not able to account for his money. In the United States, that man should, would be serving 50 years in jail. 50 years in Just jail. Just because he can't account for his money? He can't account he for his he money. He sold real estate. No, no, no. It's not that easy because you are audited by, uh, by, by, the, by the revenue agency. In the United States, in Canada, it's not, it's not just what you say. The fact that he walks with piles of money and he keeps piles of money at home and in the office, that is enough for him to go to jail for 20 years for money laundering hmm. in Canada. You go to jail just like that. Would you put him Kidero, to jail? Would you put him to, in jail? Uh, let me just tell you this. Kidero, for example, there is no way that in Canada you can refuse to, to allow authorities to get a look at your accounts. There's no way. Like, that's a no-brainer. Mm. In fact, they would freeze the accounts if you refuse to give them access. The accounts will all be frozen, and they will have access whether you like it or not. Kidero has 15 accounts from which he took 300 million that he bribed uh, the Supreme Court. Allegedly. No, he did. Otherwise, he would have allowed these guys to look at his accounts. Mm. He does not want people to look at his accounts because he knows that there is evidence of corruption. So let me tell Nairobi this, and let me tell you this. The basis of leadership anywhere else in the world, if we want this country and this county of Nairobi to thrive, is integrity, the character. Are you able to trust the person? Is the person incapable of being compromised, financially compromised? Mm politically compromised is the person telling the truth does the person have a record of lying or of not being involved in unsavory financial uh, deals look Kidero publicly slapped Shabez and two minutes after that he said he couldn't remember whether he slapped her or not that gets you out of leadership right away You've seen what Sonko has been able to do. Mm -hmm. You saw that Sakaja supported Anwai Guru with all the billions that we lost in, in, the beginning, NYS. in the beginning. It doesn't matter whether it is in the beginning. The fact of the matter is that if today Miguna supports a thief and then tomorrow Miguna realizes that supporting a thief is going to be expensive politically, then I change tune. Mm. I am dishonest. I cannot be trusted with power. Kenyans have to realize that we have taken a very tricky, very dangerous path. We are choosing people who are not interested in leadership. People who are only interested on padding their pockets using public office. 
we are choosing people whose uh, source of wealth is not known and mostly obtained through corruption. Mm. We are choosing people who have absolutely no interest in public service. People with no vision. Some of them have come to your bench and have said they are missionaries. Mm. They are not visionaries. Mm. So what I'm saying is that here you have a visionary. A man who throughout his life has put his neck on the line for the country. But you're just one man, Miguna. You know that one I man have a team. cannot change this. So let me tell you, one man can. Magafuli is doing a lot in Tanzania as a man. You need that first. You need an executive that is bold, that is knowledgeable. And so nobody should tell you that knowledge is bad. Knowledge is good. Because you must know what you're doing before you do it. If you put silly people or idiots or people who don't know anything to govern, mistakes are very expensive. They will tell you, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. So you have to put knowledge upon people. You have to put people with integrity. Then you have to put people with a vision and a commitment to transformation. Makuna. When you have this combination, yes. failure is not an option. But yeah. the hate level in this country has grown so high. Yes. Your own people yes. will reject you. Because who, of who the are hate. my own people? Your own people. No, but when you say your own people, yes. you see, I don't subscribe to that thinking. Because my own people could be what? I, Miguna, was born in Nyanza, went to school in Nyanza and in Moranga, then came to school in Nairobi, then went to school in Toronto, has practiced law and is still practicing law in Toronto and in Kenya. So who are my people? Hmm. You can see a global character. A man who has published six books, highly rated, I read widely, I debate widely, I think every day, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I've never drunk, I've never smoked, I've never taken drugs, I'm sober 24 hours. Mm. Are these guys sober? One is drunk with theft, the other one is drunk with drugs, the other one is drunk with alcohol, the other one is chasing girls. I mean, you have a complete mashed potato of leaders <laughs> confronting an honest, capable man. And you're telling me... Yeah. These Nairobians are so stupid, they are so gone, mm. they are all zombies, they will not be able to distinguish a good leader from a bad one. Are you really telling me that? <laughs> but Kuna, what, I'm <laughs> what I'm telling you is, this place, they vote not with their hearts, but with their stomachs. That is not true. And I'll give you a few examples, because these examples I've given. Do you remember Kip uh, this man who runs? Who, who went in Kip Kellyon? Yes. Uh, Wesley. Yes, Wesley Kip Career. Yes. Who, Wesley Kip Career. He won as an independent. Mm -hmm. Against who? Kutuny, right? Yes. Kutuny is now an advisor to the president. He won against Kutuny with all the machinery of URP, right? How did he win as an independent? Look at Serut in, uh, in uh, Mount Elgon. Mm. He also won as an independent, didn't he? Against who? Against Kapondi. Yes. Right? Fred Kapondi, Kapondi again powerful was in man. URP. Yeah. Very powerful. Was even a militia man. Mm. He was even the head of a militia. Mm. So you are talking of these militias that don't even have militias. Like Sonko. Where is his militia? Oh, it's the, just talk. It's in Huruma. It's yeah, out, okay, uh, fine. In, 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 but I'm trying to tell you yes. some other people have won against militias. Then look at uh, Murkomen. I have to give him as an example. Mm. Murkomen won as a senator against who the total man be what a man with money you cannot count yes. even if you started burning it today it will not all be burnt by the end of the year <laughs> he has money sonko cannot count he was defeated by who murkomen mm. murkomen was some teenager who did not have anything look at ifrai maina a man was campaigning with helicopters and distributing money all over yeah. he was defeated by who by some mickey mouse guy mm. Look at, uh, look at Harun Mwau. Harun Mwau is the boss. He's called the boss. Yeah. Now, he's the boss of people like, uh, uh, like Sonko. These are his men who run around uh, working for him. Mm. And wasn't he defeated? I can go on and on. Now, let's look back in history. Because I'm a good student of history. Mm. And this politics is for history. All right? 
1963, Jomo Kenyatta was released from prison. Somebody smoking here. Yeah, I don't like I smell it too. Jomo Kenyatta was released from prison after he had come from abroad, from Britain, having been there for maybe 12, 15 years. He had no penny. He had no land. He had nothing. He was a prisoner. He came out and he was elected. No money against the British Empire and machinery and money and the home guards. Tom Boyer was just a trade unionist, had nothing. Odinga was just a former school teacher. That group won. Why? Vision. Vision. Mm. I can give you examples after examples. Yeah. Here in, in, in 2002, Kibaki was running for president, arraigned against Uhuru Kenyatta, the Kenyatta machinery with all the money. And Moi. And Moi. Kibaki won. In 2000 and, 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 uh, and, uh, 2005, mm. Kibaki, having betrayed the so-called MOU, then went head-to-head -head with Rail Odinga. With the state house machinery, the state machinery, with all the money he would have acquired and the money, ma the, the money men that were surrounding him, Raila beat him mm. in a referendum. Correct. Money never wins an election. But Miguna, let's and, no, no, and I'll go on, yeah. because some of these people saying these things... Yes don't understand yeah they're saying you have no if money if it was true if it was true that money wins an election why is raila running he has raila, money. raila is no, does not have even half of what uru has but he has money no no no. but i'm saying if money is what wins an election raila would have conceded to uru now he would have said uru is going to win anyway because he has more money than me money never wins an election and raila does not give handouts mm. so how can people vote for him they vote for him exactly for the same reason I'm saying they will vote for me. Vision. They say Raila went to jail, suffered for the country, fought for democracy. Exactly what I fought for. Mm. So, so the thing is, we have to be logical. We have to respect history. We have to be reasonable. We cannot just spread the propaganda of the cartel, hoping that it will help the cartel. You, Mr. Koinangi, who is my friend, don't help the cartel. But let me tell you this. Don't Look, repeat their lies. Speaking of cartels, Meguna. Yes. If they're watching you right now, they you are. are sending chills down their spines. I want to send chills in their balls. <laughs> <laughs> Meguna, they will kill you. They cannot they kill, will me. kill Listen, you. They will kill you, Meguna. You are encouraging them to try. I am not. But let me tell we you saw this. Jacob no, no, Juma no, the no. Other day. Jacob Juma cannot, is not my caliber. Jacob Juma was a looter like them who disobeyed them. You know, it's like a mafia. Mm. They have a pact, all mafias. Then one goes against the, the Omata. Mm -hmm. Then they kill him. I'm not a member of the mafia. The mafia cannot kill a non-mafia. <laughs> they do not know how to operate with a clean man. They don't know how I operate. They don't know where I sleep. They don't know who I relate to because I'm not a mafia. Mm. If a mafia, it's like David and Goliath. You see, Goliath was strong yeah. and big mm. and huge. And he was using that uh, thinking to fight a small, clean young man. So that he didn't know the young man is just going to take a stone. He was thinking the young man is going to confront him with the strength. Yeah. The same thing, the same thing that happened in the United States. Obama won because when you are clean, and you're fighting, fighting a, a dirty system, you always win mm. because they do not know the rules of engagement. If they don't kill you, they will buy you, Miguna. My friend, how come I was not bought when I was working for the office of the Prime Minister? Remember, remember that PNU had all the money, had all the power, and I was fighting them. Yeah. They bought Karoli, they bought Isahakia, they bought everybody around Raila, they even bought Raila. Mm. How come they never bought me? Did they try? They couldn't. They didn't know the language. They couldn't even approach me. They don't know how to approach me. So they can't even... It, they, they don't have the confidence even to say, Meguna, can we? Because they know before they can even say, can we? Yeah. They are out of the door with their head first. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to send chills down where? Uh, their balls. <laughs> not their spines. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my fire extinguisher?
<laughs> Miguna, Miguna. Wow. I just felt a chill somewhere. <laughs> Keep tweeting at Miguna, Miguna, at Quinanka Jeff, the hashtag Miguna times two. This show, folks, tell someone who knows someone who missed this show, they better catch the repeat. Better yet, we've got another section coming up after this break. Jeff Quinanka live with the Villa Rosa Kempinski takes a break. We'll be back. Plenty more chills. Make that no chills. Back in a moment.